before you guys feast your eyes on this minty production. The bill they've been trying to pass in Canada that basically hides content from a feller like me. Well, it passed. Today, I hope to teach the committee about Canada's vast YouTuber community and why so many of us fear Bill C-11, a bill we did not ask for, do not need, and threatens the success we've already achieved. I don't know where it's going, and I don't know where it's going to end up, but I can tell you this for free. Oh, Uncle Trudy and the rest of the left really don't like my kind of content, so I'd appreciate it if you guys shared it. All you Patreons, I really appreciate you guys paying for my free speech. Because here in old Frost, Pakistan, things are getting a little dicey on the old uh, freedom of speech train. Anyhow, enjoy the show. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the land of... You can't polish a turret. Well, that may be true, but you sure can roll it in a bunch of glitter. Look at that thing. Just majestic. Had to do an exhaust relocate while we're running used engine oil and gear oil. I know it's a hard, how dare you. And most of the smoke was just blowing directly into the interior. And every time I would drive this old Ferd, I'd end up looking like a coal miner's taint. Headache rack stack it was. Willard, what do you think? Willard, what do you think? I think you're stunned. Alrighty, well, I woke up this morning, strapped on the old struggle stick. She said they was my magic shoes. And hobbled on outside to meet the day. And as I stood there drinking my morning cup of coffee, I figured, you know what? I haven't fired up this fur that I found at the dump, the old pearl, the oil bird is special, well, basically any of these. Then I thought to myself, you know what? I should probably go on Facebook Marketplace and maybe look for another pile of fur to drive home. But then I figured there's way too much effort in that. So let's get some of this going it's been a while but i'm excited the old pearl here she's uh been parted out a whole bunch i don't know what she's gonna need but uh let's gather up a bunch oh look at the pile of mint tires but let's gather up some garbage and get this it's huge the best thing about being a a connoisseur of box old ferns is that you got so many of the piles of you kind of lose track of how many you got and that means you kind of lose track as to how many have been started and uh well there's a lot here Oh, I need some of this hose. Let's get suction hose for the f***ing. Oh, see, I'm fine as shit I didn't even know I had. Anybody need a 7.3 power smoke core? I bet you f***ing mint. But I figure first on the docket, in the uh, spirit of uh, fine as the dump, might as well fire up this old F-150. Now, you may be asking yourself, who would throw out such a f***ing mint automobile? I, I don't know who the f*** would, but uh, I'm glad they did, because I found it at the dump. I, uh, I actually went there with my dad to get a bunch of... Uh, dirty old dump tire for the back hole. And someone had thrown this old pile of shit out. This was probably four years ago, three and a half, four years ago. And uh, it was hit at the dump. Jayco and I actually put a, uh, a computer in the, in the driver's seat here. And then we set the airbag off and blew the steering column clean out of it. I wonder if the door still open. There's no way this door still opens. Oh, it kind of still opens. All right, the door does not open. And what I meant to say is it won't open by hand. But I didn't say anything about activator. Perfect. I think you guys are beginning to see the uh, how things evolve out here. The first thing they do is they lose the door. And then uh, you don't even need a door. I think this piece of sh had a well the ignition was beat out of it because i mean they brought it to the dump but they didn't leave the keys with it but this has got that dirty old rack and pinion and someone did a real job of beating the ignition out of it i don't know who would have done that but oh it still works let's open up the ranch oh man look at the paint on this thing oh yeah i forgot she was a dirty old uh 1075 fire to her propane and propane accessories what a treat so i don't think in my drunken stupor i uh pulled the, any parts off of this pile of 
but I guess we're gonna find out when we go to start it. So when I found it, it was completely out of gas because you're supposed to bring them to the dump without gas in them. So what I did was there was a bunch of kerosene at the dump. I poured kerosene in the fuel tank and the thing ran. I drove it right on the trailer. But yeah, can you believe that somebody threw this giant pile of mint out? How dare they? Well, let's try to wrangle up a battery and see if it'll crank up. Oh, let's see here. These batteries aren't getting any lighter. I'm getting fatter. Batteries are getting heavier. I think this thing's been wounded by a few bullets too. Look at that butt connector. Perfect. They look like That's how you know it's good. Now let's listen for some noise. There should be a lot more noise than that. Any dash lights? Oh, it's got an engine light on. So this whole pile of had, oh, I don't know how long it's been since it's been running because what for alcohol and stuff like that. It makes your memory not so mint, but we'll see if she'll crank. Is it a dead battery or is it a starter or is it battery connections? The bane of my existence. Let's see this guy. I think it's a battery. I think. Could be battery connections. Could be both. I think I left my booster pack back here actually. Oh yeah. I bought this pile at the auction. This was a good deal. You never know what you might find at the sale. And a lot of times you didn't know you need it until you seen it. And by seen it, I mean it was going for really cheap. All right, let's try it again. Did we get a shitty starter in this pile of Is it? I think that's the fuel pump. Oh yeah, it's just battery connections. I wonder, wonder why that is. All right, so she cranks. So we're gonna have to go fix the battery connection. What a surprise and then uh we'll be mint you hear that fuel pump it was struggling I was watching some ddt shop the other day speaking of which and uh i seen that he had ordered or he had a pile of these mint battery connections and then i uh, went on amazon i don't know what these are made out of but they're i think these are aluminum so they're just giant piles of shit. but uh that's perfect because that's exactly what we need l let, let me guess metric 12 millimeter that's how you know it's going to be a genuine pile of shit. Got that right. 12 millimeter? Yeah, 12 millimeter. Junk. Oh well, we're just gonna use a Letterman. That'll be fine. But I did not know that they made these fucking things in aluminum now. That's probably not good. But I mean, it works for DD Speed Shop, works for me. He probably bought the better ones because he's got that fucking DD Speed Shop money. So I don't know how long you mouth breeders and Mongo have been watching this channel for. Is it a lot like the old F1 shitty I used to have? I know she's gone. She's gone to a better place after uh, a serious mouthful of uh, nitrous oxide which is a real nice catch for hot sauce but they like that but she gone now but there's a bunch of minty old furs out here to take their place because i mean that's just the cycle of life where in the sweet fiddlers did I put the battery connections? Oh, they're in my back pocket. Never mind. All right, so whoever rewired this pile did not use big enough cable. This is struggling. But I mean, what do you what do you expect? You find out the dump, the way she goes. That fuel pump is definitely not sitting in anything. So that's good that the tank is right empty. Well, it had kerosene in it. I wonder if kerosene would stop that little bummer gas from turning into that green shit. I hate that stuff. It's gross. It gums up every fuel system you put it into all right so let's use the battery box here and just there we go let's see what happens meow it's a piece of shit. what in for creek it's got to be something well obviously something but the wiring on this thing has just been parked beside a dodge these battery connections are exquisitely we spared no expense all of it and how many did i buy all of them oh the nut fell out for sakes god damn son of a let's see here. why why is the body ground so big somebody who put this together was definitely stunned oh, there's got to be something here i don't know what in the sweet fiddler is wrong with this pile of oh, we're gonna have to jack this thing up delicately and we'll have a gander underneath i got some good news for this old furred and some bad news for this old furred the good news is we're gonna figure out what's wrong with it the bad news is my this excavator is about to identify as a jack.
There. We got it safely jacked off. Oh. You know when you were trying to do burn, get your dad to do a burn it, and when you were laying under the thing on the trailer, was yeah, like, that's what it was. Holy <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> wow, what a <laughs> mistake! Just do it. He was such a pussy. <laughs> he wouldn't even do a burnout. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think he was fixed at that time. He could have made another one of me. What are you fing stunned? Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's the fing shitty ass fing battery connections that they put on this thing. How dare they? Alright, now we gotta build a whole battery cable for it. Proper battery connections. All right, let's go see what happens. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Meow. I gotta, I gotta unjack this thing. We gotta let the jack down. You wanna stand out of the way so you're not dying? Nailed it. All right, well, let's try this again. And now she's gonna start. The battery connections. Bane of my existence. All right, so I hear the fuel pump. Do you hear the fuel pump? Yep. Yeah, fuel pump, so. Sounds pretty uh, light though. That's what I mean, there's nothing in it. That's perfect. All right, well, she's drinking it in. Let's listen to the fuel pump, listen. Yeah. Don't touch it, just roll. No, it needs price, it, it <laughs> needs the Cosby stuff. Oh, junk. I got, I got, ask me if I got something special in my pocket. Do you have something special in your pocket? Oh, yeah. She it's needs the, it. Needs it's the Harvest King, yeah. Let's see here. A little backfire, no big deal. Let's try it. Let's <laughs> Mint straight out of the dump. All right, can you light her up? I'll see what I can do. Oh, yeah. hanging out of it oh yeah well I don't think I can rock it out of here we gotta take a thing for a rip so you you're gonna trust this box side to sit under this thing while we blow the tire back on the bead right oh, well, absolutely. it'll be fine totally. so there's a lot of hair lips out there that don't know how to put tires back on the beads with the uh, Cosby sauce so what happens when the tire explodes there's a fire inside of it. Well, the fire burns. It'll it'll suck for oxygen. It'll just pull the piece of right back off the bead. So what you're gonna want to have is all the wind blowing to it while you light it on fire. So there's actually some. Why are you guys leaving? Why are you sitting all the way down there? I don't want to get nailed in the face with a tire. It won't even nail you in the face that bad. All right. So there's that guy, and you start plumbing over there. Uh oh. You think I lost it? Yeah. Fuck Whoa. that I did. Oh, maybe I did. We'll just fucking give her. I'll see how fast I am in the old M style. Oh, see there's not enough oxy. <sighs> maybe I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to fucking show off is all. Maybe I need more. That's what it is, buddy. Flying too close to the sun. Yes! Ah, uh, see? It has nothing to do with this tire being completely sacked out. No, nothing at all. Yeah. How much sauce? All of it. Let's just see. Yes! Oh! No! Oh! You think? You think there's something wrong with the tire, maybe? No sh No sh Alright, so I guess, I guess I don't know how to eat their tire on. Because you are up, up. So we're gonna swap it out. NASCAR style. That's fine, it'll just one leg this tire right off. All 
right, now time for some custom exhaust. Cadillac converter delete. I'm like doing this at crackhead speed, eh? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Oh yeah, she was never doing anything anyway. That's a lot of dimp. She done. She gone. Okay. All right, now it's gonna sound way cooler. I've never blown a Ford for anybody doing that with it before. Ford sale. Where's your torch, man? I'm looking for it. The other one? Yeah. It'll doobie here, it'll light, and then come no torch. I don't know where it was. So, you know, oh, I got an idea. I know how we can light that thing. Oh, with your finger? Instead of going all the way back over to the shop, 
<laughs> to light your joint. I got this. Ready? There you go, bud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Ow! <laughs> Fuck you got it. Yeah, here, here you go. go. There you go. Oh. Just keep her Oh, going. here, light it right off the ether can. There you, you get her? Oh, oh yeah. you're golden. Alrighty, so the next one on the list is the free candy van. She hasn't been running since last year, but I don't think this can let it down. And what we can do is maybe lift it up somehow and do a big stinky burnout with this pilot. Oh, that's forward, a lot of work. You guys thirsty? I need the fing beer. Does the beer taste kind of funny to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a, a little, little bit. That's not too bad. different. Yeah. I feel like voting for Justin Trudeau all of a sudden. I don't know why. Yeah, he's my idol now. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, she's the next day meow. And I don't know what happened, but my buddy brought over a bunch of beer yesterday. And uh, all I remember was having a couple of them. And the next thing you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't really recall the whole day, but then I woke up to some weird photo shoot pictures on my phone. And... A bunch of weird messages from people on Instagram. And I'm pancakes. But other than that, that beer wasn't too bad. So I think I remember yesterday, the, uh, the next one on the docket, the old candy van here. So let's grab a battery, some Cosby sauce, and a little bit of 1203. And see if this old girl fire. Man, there's just empty Cosby sauce cans everywhere out here. Oh yeah, and it is Earth Day today. So in the spirit of Earth Day, being that uh, the hard working blue collar type are getting how dare you for, uh, you know, basically just existing by a bunch of people who uh, fly around on 747s and sip champagne. In the spirit of all that, we're just gonna leave the old mini hoe idle all day. Just, we're gonna leave her idle, maybe a little higher than that. And that's just gonna be the way she goes. All in the spirit of how dare you date. All right, well, I am kind of sad and disappointed that I begged the fing train. Well, it's either the tea case or the train, I don't know, but either or, I bagged the fing out of it. I've never actually had that happen to a Ford. I had it happen to a Chevy. Never had it happen to a Ford where you were RDing it and uh, she died like that, but it really pissed me off. So we're gonna have to get a fing burnout out of the old fing candy van here. This old pilot brings me back. I had this exact same van when I was, uh, well, I think I was about 14 years old and uh, got it from a neighbor, had a burnt valve and uh, I bagged the living out of that van. It was loyal, but this one should be good. It's got a Chevy steering wheel in it. So there's clearly no battery in it. And if there is a battery in it, it's probably Oh, just a, uh, a bush can. Imagine that. I wonder if that's gas. Oh, that was gas. Now, I usually just Cosby sausage everything and then it'll start. But on this one, I'm gonna do that exact same thing over and over again. But I'm not gonna put all my gas in it this time because all my gas from yesterday got poured into that poured from a dump and it fucked the fella. So it's kind of mint out here being that a lot of these trucks that revive and drive them home. So you know that I've already with the fuel system to where it's really it won't work or it's really it will work. Calculated, I think is the word for it. Protect my investment here. Oh yeah, for all you kids that watch this that borrow your dad's jerry cans, put the fing lid back. There's only so many fing uh, plastic bags you can stick over top of the fing top of them things before you have an aneurysm. Well, let's go grab the ever so lightweight battery and stick her home. All right, let's see if she turns over. Look at that. Ford even ran a sagging off power steering pump for once. Uh oh. This one, oh, gotta roach out my brand new Letterman. Oh, I had to just fing get this one because the other one got melted. <laughs> Creek. Oh, this thing's like right close. Look at how close the fucking exciter fucking post is to the power post. Look at that. Oh, Let's would see. you look at that? <laughs> That's how you know it's good. I think it starts from the cab. This piece of sh is there Oh yeah. Oh, she's gonna fucking go. Alrighty. So the last time this pile of ran was uh, last summer when I was having a couple lattes. Figuring out uh, what was starting the yard. She's been, she's a bit boxed in, so you can't just go rallying her through the bush. But, all right, so chokes on. Cosby sauce. Oh, wonder if the float bowls. Oh, we'll just crank it. Pump that. Come on. Let's gonna get a good foot. Oh, come on. Let's try that. Oh, I wonder if the fuel pump actually works in this pilot. Of 
we're one backfire away from being having to piss all over this thing again oh yeah there she goes oh yeah <laughs> oh no see they're so mouse turds aren't going out all right let's see you're a piece of That sounds good, doesn't it? Why? Oh. Oh. We're gonna have to fucking piss on it. I'm gonna piss on it. That's fine. We'll just fucking smother it out with this dash cluster here. I don't know, there's some carpet here. This stuff's barely even dried out and flammable. Let's just leatherman this off. Oh, I'm wrecking the resale on this thing. Let's see here. Got to magic carpet that off. There we go. Yeah. Let's try it again. That's probably soaked and pissed anyway. Is it getting fucking fuel? It's not getting fuel. We're going to check that out because we're limited on fucking batteries. It doesn't matter how old my fat ass gets. The one common theme around here is dead fucking batteries. It did have a semi-functioning fuel pump last year, but it does have no bummer gas in it probably. And that's fucking garbage. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, it's pumping gas all over the engine. That's how you know it's good. I think it just finally started getting fuel actually. That's probably all it needed was a little bit of squirt on top of the engine. That's good. Dust control. And I got it pissed anyway. The shitty thing about pissing on fires at my age, you damn near can blow a kidney out trying to get the stream up. Let's try it again. It'll just start right up now. Maybe gotta whack the fuel bolt. Alright, come on. Oh, I picked the fing post up. God, fing pulling away. This thing better do a fing spectacular burnout. Oh, that's good. Oh yes! Oh, to... oh! I already did all the dual wieldy messing on this thing. This thing's a piece of. Shit. It's squirting there. It must be a plug fuel filter or. The float stuck. So we're just gonna get rid of that fuel filter. You don't even, what was that? Oh no, it's got one on the on the fuel pump. We're good, we don't even need that fuel filter. So I think that's 1 8 MPT. We're gonna go grab one of them, we'll be back. Look at this tactical Mexican socket set I got from Princess Auto. It's mint, look at how short the nub is on it. That's what she said. Me and this Kresge got a lot in common. I wonder if this is plugged right off. It's gotta be plugged off. Oh yeah, it's struggling. We didn't use any Teff tape, because that i don't think it's supposed to light on fire if you use teft tape man i love this shit. so a lot of feather dock you got it like oh peg do you still like doing videos after all these years well when i started doing videos i had my, my parents bought i think it was for their wedding i don't i gotta get uh, the uh the story on this thing but it was a camcorder and it took a full-size vhs tape i'm not talking one of them pussy no no it took the small ones but you had to have daped it over to the smaller size one yeah, it came with a, long story short, it took the cassette tape that was this big and it went into the big cassette tape so you could put it on the fucking TV. And that's what I started doing videos with. And I've been doing videos since I was, yeah, like I said, about 14 years old when I found this fucking thing. Um, so you kids these days, you don't understand what it's like to fucking struggle. We had what was called the TV cabinet and it was all your audio visual stuff that your dad bought back in the 70s and 80s. And this thing was in there and i used to videotape my buddy my buddy spencer rombo and james baldwin those are my best buddies ever we used to go get drunk and do all kinds of stupid beat on these old vans and it was just a good time but i haven't i haven't lost my love for doing this this you a lot of people like to go to mexico and drink fancy pants and things with i'm gonna check the oil quick squirrel add's barely even kicking in brand new oil in her yeah a lot of people like going to the beach and doing all that stupid shit. I would much rather come out to my backyard and get some f***ing derelict junk running. Like, this is just a treat. I'm going to drink more of those Bud Lights today, but I don't know how much more my back porch can handle. We'll see what happens now. See if it's going to get gas. The struggle is f***ing real. Let's see now. 
It should just fire right up. Couple of pumps. Yeah. Fuel filter. neutral there it is we're gonna let it warm up a minute but while we're warming up we're gonna gear it up for a burnout grab a little chunk of this pinocchio pecker here Alrighty, a little pinocchio pecker one of them things that's single-handedly responsible for higher insurance rates in the 70s 80s 90s and 70s and 60s and 90s i want to go ahead and jack her up a little bit i mean i would try to get the excavator in here but i clearly have too much Start to slide a little. Stay, stay. One more click. Maybe. Stay. I can hear the Pinocchio pecker cracking, so that's how you know that jack's still good. All right, so now what we're gonna do? We're just gonna jam this tire under there. Hopefully, we have to rock it a little bit. All right, we're gonna safely put it in the gear here. There we go. Now just slide that in there real safe like. Oh yeah, it worked out perfect. All right, now let's do a double tire burnout. See, jack off. That's how you know you're using it. But now we're gonna gear up for uh, double the smoke and zero the Oh, the door's a hole this morning. We need to get her more on the tire. Yeah, it's gone into the mud. Oh, for creek. Well, at least it's jack all safe. All right, so my fat ass has got a new plan. I almost died from a jack all about 500 times. And I might as well do an old start on this thing. So we're gonna get this pile of shit on in, move it out of the way, allegedly, hopefully, and then use the mini hoe to lift that thing up to do a burnout. Cause, uh, well, I just about died from a jack all for like the 15th time. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go with the mini hoe option. Stick that in there gently. This thing will just fire right up, I guarantee it. Well, I can't guarantee it, but it, I'm pretty sure it'll fire right up. Oh, what a sweetheart. Let's see if she cranks. Oh yeah, she'll go. I bet you she just fires right up. Alrighty, so that thing was a piece of sh Took a long time to get going. This thing wasn't even that bad, but the old IDI, she'll fire right up, right away. You'll see, she'll be mint. Oh, we're gonna blow it up here. I'm gonna spray a little Cosby sauce in her. That was too much. Oh, there we go. Oh, I left a piss jug in here. Ready? Fire's right up. fire let's just see man this thing hasn't been running since october i think just loyal one more time oh i love these old trucks Alrighty, well there's miles of room in there meow to replace the jack all and get a 
fucking burnout done. And a lot of you guys might be watching this. It all pegs it up and he piece of now. We've got all this nice iron. Well, you gotta remember that I live in an echo shack. So it was either a house and no iron and no boards or all the boards and iron and echo shack. So we went with the best option for this guy. And let me tell you, I am not upset about my uh, my choices in life. You don't need a house that doesn't have wheels under it. So a lot of people don't know this. With an open differential, if one tire's completely stayed still, the spider gears will actually double the ratio for the side that is spinning. So whatever it says on miles an hour on the dash, the tire is spinning twice that speed. So we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully the tire dies, not me. Drive. And now jack off. seven holes. Ow! Alright, let's see what happens now. Listen to her idol. Just loyal. She did it on seven holes! What a treat. Man. Alright, let's go down to the next one. Oh, this one was a lot of work. I'm thirsty again. Alrighty, well, she's the next day meow. Uh, the next on the docket's gonna be this old prick, the old ID I here. As you guys don't remember this prick, I uh, drove this one all the way back from Calgary, Alberta, well, near Calgary, Red Deer, something like that. Just drove back, man. Tried to do a burnout with it and uh, blew the rear diff out of it. I mean, that's fine. But after that pile of 
We'll get on to the uh, Oil Berta Special, and Lord willing, if we got enough batteries and enough 1203, we'll get the pearl going. This old pilot running in forever. I'm excited. You don't need to worry about bullet holes in your old Ferd. I don't even know where them. They must have had something heavy in here, because then bullets went in, but they didn't come out, and there, there's nothing to come out the other side. So, I mean, that's how you know you're safe. Alrighty, well, the smoky old mess already had one battery in it. Let's go grab the other one. Always the right tool for the job. Now this old pile of hasn't been fired up since last spring, but uh, well, since Cosby sauce is kind of cheating with these old pricks, we're gonna try to run the glow plug. Is there even a, uh, oh yeah, there's a fucking brand new glow plug controller on it. But we'll see if the glow plug relay clicks when we turn the fucking key on, and we'll just see if it fires up without Cosby sauce. You said you fucking. It'll fire up. Oh, that's where I left my fucking kicking horse welder. I'm always losing those things. All right. Well, there's no way to start light on there. Is there any clicking? I can't hear. We'll see if she cranks. Well, she cranks. Let's uh, arc out glow plugs and see if we can get her to fire without sauce. I mean, we gotta at least try. I think I'm losing my voice again. My voice box is like a front end of a Dodge just falling the out. Oh, I guess there could be worse things happening. At least my is not falling out. Is there any draw there at all? Oh, it's coming on. One, two, three, all of it. Niner. Two, four, five, six, seven. And did I catch a niner in there? Tangle, fiber, one -er. Eight. Donna, peanut, eunuch. All right, that's about 10 seconds. See what happens. Huge. All of it. <laughs> this old hoard got a nice even crank to it. Probably not even blowing up. I don't think there's going to be any functioning glow plugs in it because that's just how these things are. Or, I mean, that's just how these things are maintained. Try her again. <laughs> glow plugs are but you know what's not? Can glow plug. You got that right. Oh, yeah. There's even a vintage can of gunk liquid fire Cosby sauce. What a treat. This is like pulling a bottle of fine wine out of the cupboard. Bet you she fires right up. It wasn't smoking that much though. Usually they're just smoking like a mother when they're cranking. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's see. Oh, ether locking hard. Well, it did start. Let's see, try it again. Need some more sauce. Cranker. Well, there's only one battery hooked up. That's pretty good. Cranking like a mother on one battery. Oh, where the f is the wrench? We'll give that a try. Does that does it crank faster? Not really. Well, we'll Try it anyway. WFO, it's not smoking. I wonder, it, I think it's getting fuel. Is she not gonna start? Yeah, there's no fuel getting to her. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's getting good fuel pressure here. Is the fuel filter plugged off again? Let's see. Maybe, we'll just bypass this fuel filter. You don't need all the fuel filters. See, this is how a hillbilly's brain works. You figure it out while you're fiddle with it. Instead of sitting on the couch trying to figure it out, you just come out and with it. See, we got lots of fuel pressure here. I don't know what in the sweet fiddler's her problem is. I think we just need more crank and more ether. The fuel pump sounds like it's coming on. We'll hook the battery pack up and then give her all the way and see what happens. We're gonna crank it until it starts to smoke and then we'll give her some Cosby sauce. <laughs>
fucking won't be idle, but I guess it's got it. See what happened if you shut her out and fire it back up. Or nothing, because I forgot to plug the fing solenoid back in. Let's see. All right, well, let's back this hot rod out of here, and then uh, what we'll do. Uh oh. It's all bunged up. Rock and barb. mouth breeder to mongoloids thanks for watching part one of this two-part production if you guys want to watch the whole thing all the greasiness all the swearing and none of the editing come on over to the old patreon well thanks again and until next week keep pooping out your pipe